Hey guys, Keith here with another Impact Wrestling review. So before we get into it tonight, I just want to let you guys know if you haven't seen already, I have a new series up on the page. It's called The Impact Report, where I basically go over news and rumors in the world of Impact Wrestling. Uh, I plan to keep this a weekly series, once a week, um, but depending on if things take off, uh, it could be a daily show. But anyway, back to the review. So uh, we had a pretty good show tonight. Uh, it was a good mix of story building and wrestling, which I think that's pretty much all you can ask for. So we opened the show with a four-way knockouts match, and the winner is going to face, or will be the new number one contender for the knockouts championship, because um, we have the knockouts championship match later on in the evening with uh, Laurel Van Ness and... Rosemary fighting for the vacant championship. So this match was Sienna versus Allie versus Casey Spinelli versus Madison Rain. Um, this was a decent match to start the show. Uh, we had a couple good spots here and there, a bunch of near falls. Uh, so at the end of the match, Sienna had Madison set up for the AK-47 when Allie came from behind and rolled Sienna up for the victory. So your new number one contender is Allie. So this is a big, big win for her. Uh, especially going over the former champion, Sienna. And um, I definitely see her as a future champion. Has the fans behind her, has improved her in-ring work, so has the, the makings of a champion. So up next, we have a X-Division tag team match with Trevor Lee and Caleb Conley versus uh, Ishimori and uh, Desmond Xavier. Uh, this was a good match. Not, not a surprise here, considering all four... Men are good athletes, um, good back and forth action. Um, you know, Conley and and Lee working the heel as the heels, so they kind of double team and things like that. So at the end of the match, we got Conley set up Desmond Xavier in a trio woe position. So they were going to set up for a double team move. So Lee had Ishimori in the middle of the ring, and Conley was going to the top rope. Xavier was able to get a foot free, knocked Conley down, and Ishimori rolled up Trevor Lee for the victory. Um, like I said, good to have two matches right to start off the show. Um, but that was uh, that was it for back to back action. I think we had two more matches in the night, and the rest was kind of story building, which was good. Um, so up next, we get backstage, and Dan Lambert and American Top Team are walking through the arena, and Dan kind of turns to everybody and says, you know what, you guys can have the night off. Me and Bobby will take care of business ourselves. And at that point, we also see James Storm and Moose walking into the arena. Go to a different part of the arena, and PD and, Im and Johnny Impact are talking uh, backstage about their six-man tag later on. Alberto El Patron comes up, complaining, obviously, that he has to tag with the two of them, as they've had issues in the past. So, basically, Alberto kind of leaves them with, you know, accidents happen in the ring all the time. So, kind of signif signaling that uh, something's going to happen later on. Up next, we have a flashback moment of the week. So as we go back to uh, Bound for Glory 2007 when Gail Kim won the Knockouts Championship in a gauntlet for the gold match. And after that, we get the other members of the tag match. So it was Eli, Drake, and Chris Adonis backstage, and they're actually talking with Jimmy Jacobs. And Eli kind of turns to Jimmy and says, you know what to do. So at this point, I kind of I was like, huh, maybe they're going to put Jimmy Jacobs with them? But I didn't think he was in a wrestling role. So, go out to ringside, and Alberto comes out first, then Impact, then Petey Williams. Then we get Eli Drake and Chris Adonis come out, because their third member was supposed to be a mystery partner. So, Jimmy Jacobs walks out, and he says, The zombie princess is here. And he says, I'm not a bad guy. I'm a good guy. I'm here to help. And so he says, Eli Drake and Chris Adonis asked me for help. So I told them I'd help, but I'm not their partner. 
and he introduces their partner as Congo Kong. So I guess there's some sort of relationship here between Jimmy Jacobs and Congo Kong. He is basically his beast. Um, but this is a good match. Uh, a lot going on here. Beginning of the match, though, uh, Drake, Adonis, and Kong kind of use quick tags. They were able to isolate PD for a good portion of the match. Obviously, they're going to isolate the smaller man. Um, PD is able to make a tag to Johnny Impact after Chris Adonis almost punches Congo Kong. So Impact comes in, does a couple things. In comes Alberto El Patron. They kind of have a stare off and... Impact turns around, and at this point, Alberto El Patron hits him with a backstabber. We all saw that saw that coming. A couple things happen. Action goes to the outside. Uh, P.D. Williams is going to do, uh, I believe, a Hurricane Rana on Congo Kong. Congo picks him up, power bombs him into the crowd. Um, people go down. And Congo picks him back up, and they kind of exit through the crowd with Jimmy Jacobs following. Um, Impact is in the ring. Hits Eli Drake with the Starship Pain. At this point, Alberto El Patron comes in, pulls Impact out of the ring, hits him with a DDT on the entranceway, goes in the ring, hits a splash on Eli, and picks up the victory. After the match, he holds up the title. So, like I said, this was kind of a crazy match. It started off so calm, and then just everything went to hell. So, after the match, we learn that in three weeks, Alberto El Patron will be facing Eli Drake for the Global Championship. So, I guess they're going to have two weeks of uh, recap videos. I guess the best of 2017 Part 1 and then Part 2. After that, we go backstage, and we have Joseph and Chandler Park. So... Um, they're talking about how business has boomed since they started airing their commercials. And um, Chandler says in 2018 he wants to become a professional wrestler. Joseph Park kind of looks at him and goes, I don't. I think that's a bad idea. I, I know what happens inside the ring. And Chandler goes, yeah, but Parks are fighters. So good stuff here. I'm very interested to see how they move Chandler into his, well, in-ring debut. I don't know if he's going to keep this name for a while or what's going on, but I'm excited to see where they go. After that, we learn that in three weeks, we will also get an X Division Championship match with Trevor Lee defending against Ishimori and a Grand Championship match with Eli Drake defending against Falaba and Matt Seidel. So a triple threat Grand Championship match. That should be pretty interesting. All right, so up next we have... Uh, Moose and Storm come out. Now, the next three segments, I could see them closing pretty much any show out with them because they were all really good segments um, and all had a lot going on. So, like I said, ending the show with one of these segments would have been fine. So, they come out. Moose grabs the microphone, says that he's pissed at American Top Team. And then James Storm grabs the microphone and says, Yeah, I'm pissed at ATT too. And... He's like, my internet's been a problem lately. And Moose is like, no, 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 not that at t So that was pretty funny. So Moose basically complains about how he's had Lashley beat all these times. And, of course, it was American Top Team that interfered and got involved, causing him to lose. Um, Lashley and Lambert come out. Lashley basically says, you know, I'll fight you anywhere you want. It, or not anywhere you want. I'll fight you, but it'll be on my time and my terms. And so Storm grabs the microphone and kind of yells at Lambert and goes, Hey, he says, I respect you, but I don't like you. And I really don't like you because you came here and disrespected me. So then the two of them kind of go back and forth, and uh, Lambert's chewing down the crowd. He's, he's a great heel. Then he says to Storm that he's been here since day one, and he's... He is Impact Wrestling. He's basically the head of the beast, and if you want to take down the beast, you take cut off its head. So he says he wants a match with with Storm. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Storm says he wants a one-on-one -on -one match with Lambert. Lambert says, I'll take you on in a match, but you have to put your career on the line and leave Impact Wrestling forever. So Storm accepts it, but then he says if he wins, Lambert... 
Lashley, and American Top Team all have to leave Impact Wrestling. So at this point, Lambert spits in the face of James Storm. Lashley and Moose battle to the outside. Storm setting up to super kick Lambert. KM rolls in the ring, goes for a pump handle slam. James Storm wiggles his way out, hits KM with a super kick, and that's the end of the segment. Like I said, big match. After that, find out January 4th. It's career versus career, Lambert versus Storm. So they're really building this show up to be, well, kind of a super show. All the titles pretty much going to be on the line. Um, I don't know if they're going to name it anything. I think they usually had some sort of special in January, but no clues to what they're going to do. Um, up next, we have the Knockouts title match with Laurel Van Ness versus Rosemary for the vacant championship. Good match. Both these two are good workers. Um, fans were really into this match. A lot of back and forth chants. Um, more so for Rosemary, but she is a fan favorite. Um, so, kind of halfway through the match, action spills to the outside. Rosemary hits a beautiful exploder suplex. Go back in the ring. Each of them tried their special finishing maneuver, whatever you want to call it. The other one reverses it. Rosemary gets thrown into the corner. Laurel Van Ness pushes the referee. Goes over to attack Rosemary. Kind of puts her hands up. Rosemary hits her with the mist. Ends up on her hands. Turns around. Push, puts her hands in Rosemary's face. She's obviously blinded at this point. And Laurel Van Ness hits the unprettier in the corner. That's the match. New knockout champion, Laurel Van Ness. This would be good, except now there's all types of rumors that apparently she wants her release. So, kind of puts her in a puts him in an awkward spot. But with Allie winning the match earlier on, I'm not sure when this match is going to take place. Um, no date announced, so maybe the January fourth show. We'll see. So to finish the show off, we had the Sammy Callahan and Conan sit down. Um, so they were both outside. Sammy was kind of searching out for Conan. He was basically made, had to jump through a few hoops before he could find Conan. He's sitting on a park bench, and he's kind of you know getting in his face and everything. Conan just says, you know what, Sammy? You're ignorant, and you're so blind to your ignorance. And then Sammy starts calling him an old man, and then he says, you know, the new kids are in town. We're taking over. And Conan's like, yeah, you guys got what I want, and that's the tag belts. Tag championships, whatever you want to call it. So Sammy agrees to them to a rematch. And then he says, if we win, there's no more LAX. You guys got to leave. So Conan says, you know what? If you back out of this deal, I'm going to destroy everything you know in Ohio. He was talking about all types of drug businesses and his trailer park and burning stuff down. And so they go to shake hands, and Conan's like, this isn't, this is business, this is not, not personal. So Sammy hits him in the face with a fireball, knocks him to the ground, kicks him, and says, now it's personal. So, like I said, it was, definitely adds more to this, not that there really needed to be any more. Um, I know what type of match happens, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, if you guys want to find out, it's all over the internet. But I'm very excited to see this match. I don't know when it's going to happen. I hope they don't show it during the recap shows. But this would be a big match to do on national television because I don't believe it's been done before besides pay-per-view. But that was my Impact review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And like always, if you like what you've seen here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.